In this example, I'm going to solve this system with three equations and three unknown values, and I'm going to do so by starting with substitution. So I notice in this third equation, this z variable right here has a coefficient of a positive 1, so he's going to be easy to isolate or solve for z. So z equals, now I need to get these other two terms from the left side to the right side, so this negative 2x will be a positive 2x, this positive 6y will be negative 6y, and then we have this positive 10 that's already over there. So I have this expression now, 2x minus 6y plus 10, and it's going to be equivalent to z. So anytime I see a z in any of the other equations, I can substitute instead this expression. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this expression and substitute him in for the z in the first equation and also the second equation. And in doing so, I'm going to eliminate the z's from these top two equations, and I'm only going to have x's and y's, and then I'll have a system with two equations and two unknowns. And then in that way, we kind of whittle it down from a larger system to a smaller system until I start determining the actual values for the variables. So let's go ahead and do it into the first equation. So I have 2x plus 2y plus 3z, and z is going to be 2x minus 6y plus 10, and that's going to equal 6. Let's go ahead and just simplify this a little bit. 2x plus 2y plus 6x minus 18y plus 30 equals 6. Now it's a matter of combining like terms and subtracting 30 from both sides. So the 2x and the 6x will make 8x, and 2y minus 18y will be negative 16y, and that's going to equal negative 24. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little box around that just so I uh, can find it easily here in a little bit. So the second equation now, let's go ahead and substitute this expression in for z. So I have negative 4x plus 4y minus 2z, but z again is going to be this expression, and that's going to equal 4. Okay, so let's uh, distribute and simplify a bit. Negative 4x plus 4y minus 4x plus 12y minus 20 equals 4. So again, uh, negative 8x and I have a plus 16y, and that equals a positive 24. Okay, so now I have these two equations that uh, kind of make a system on their own, two equations and two unknowns, and uh, I got these two equations by using the third equation, solving for z, and then plugging in this expression in for z of the other two equations. So let's go ahead and stack these two equations next to each other. I'll move over a little so we have some more room. So 8x minus 16y equals negative 24. And negative 8x plus 16y equals positive 24. Well, a very interesting thing has occurred here. It looks like when I add uh, these two equations, it looks like everything cancels out. So I have 0 equals 0. So I know from past experience that when all the variables cancel, I'm either going to be left with a true statement or a false statement, and in this case, it's a true statement. Zero does equal zero. So I'm going to say this system has an infinite number of solutions.